Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown. Welcome back to Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month on Crypto Comics. This is the end of our series on Extreme Sacrifice, the massive Extreme Studios crossover from 1994 and 1995. This is part zero of eight. The end of Extreme Sacrifice is the beginning of Extreme Sacrifice. And we are going to learn the secrets of Chapel. Not just the secrets of Chapel, the secrets of Lord Chapel. Now, if you have not been paying attention the last three days here on Crypto Comics and you have missed the previous Extreme Sacrifice reviews, I highly recommend you go back and start from the beginning, unless, of course, you do not want massive Youngblood spoilers because Extreme Sacrifice is filled with massive Youngblood spoilers. Just like this comic is filled with massive spoilers. This is, this is really how it all started. This is the story of how Chapel became the Lord of Hell. From the pages of Youngblood Strike File number 11, February 1995. Chapel, wake up, Chapel. I said wake up. Lucifer is pissed. You, you don't have to scream. I'm awake, I think. Where am I? Is this hell? Hell? Of course it's not hell. This is limbo, and I am its keeper, Nazarat. Go toward the threshold. All will become clear. Look, this is real simple. I just want to be a spawn. A spawn? No, no, no. More is meant for you than to be one of Mount Borgia's playthings. This is where your path lies. Earth. Washington, D.C. It is the time of the Hellfire, near the end of the 21st century. Why am I here? Has there been a nuclear war? <laughs> Has there been a nuclear war? I forgot how whimsical you could be, Chapel. So, uh, we, we've met before? You'll see. Look behind you. Tonight we feast on the flesh of Lucifer's children. Whoa! Those are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. But they are led by a fifth. You, Chapel. Uh-oh. Me? <laughs> Look, I'm here to be a spawn. Not some goddamn horseman of the apocalypse. Like your own Washington. Hell has its petty internal squabbles. When you first arrived, many of the sublords saw you as the one who could dispatch Lucifer. End his stranglehold over the myriad levels of hell. Let me see if I got this. I ain't a spawn. Instead, I'm the fifth horseman, and I'm supposed to kick the devil's ass out of hell? Something like that. That's just friggin' great. Believe me, Chapel, you grew to savor it. After a time, you became more powerful than even the sublords could have imagined. Your will extended throughout every level of hell. Lucifer fled in terror and hid among humanity. But your ambitions were admirable. You chased the serpent's tail. To his citadel on earth, and there in the netherworld, a holocaust ignited, which threatened to unmake the very fabric of reality. Your followers could only scream your name in tribute as you slew millions of humans, and demons, and anyone who stood before you. Finally, only one remained, Lucifer. He tried to retain his kingdom, but you set his realm afire with an explosion fueled by your unimaginable power. With the old rule destroyed, you turned your gaze upward toward the stars. By the dawn of the next millennium, you controlled over half the known galaxy. But on Earth, a messiah arose from the ashes. He led the few survivors on a genocidal campaign to vanquish your dominion. He was called the Newborn, no doubt an homage to his powerful new gene parents, Dash and Rain. You remember them as the so-called new men. 
You used every vestige of power to defend against his onslaught, but eventually silence befell you, and the newborn child brandished your head, triumphant in his quest to restore order to Earth and the galaxy. You make it sound like this already happened, but I just got here. In limbo, time is incidental. Indeed, these events have already occurred, but you have been resurrected. Lucifer fears you still. His whereabouts are unknown, but hell awaits your command, my Lord Chapel. I love, I love how intertwined Image Comics characters are. I love that there is not just a shared earth, but a shared hell in this comic book universe. That's awesome. Brilliance. Makes me sad that Image is, you know, kind of a shell of what it was in the 90s. Makes me sad that Rob and, and Todd are, are not still uh, simpatico with one another as far as uh, this universe goes. Of course, Nazarat. The shock of my rebirth clouded my mind. This time I will be triumphant and slay the newborn brat before his power can reach fruition. Sounds like you could use some help this time around. The name is Crypt. And so it begins. And there you have the end and the beginning of Extreme Sacrifice. Now, of course, there are some other interesting stories that come in here, something with Cougar. We get, a, we get another little story in here somewhere, I think. Maybe we do. Oh, maybe we don't. Two stories in this, uh, in this Youngblood Strike file. Now, what followed this would be another comic featuring Chapel, exploding from the pages of Extreme Sacrifice. It's Chapel, number one. We're not going to go through this. This is a, a mini-series that they cranked out there in early 1995. It's got some awesome, awesome art by Tom Tenney and Calvin Irving. Uh, I really dig the art in this. Uh, but I'm not too into war stories, you know? There's a lot of violence. This is definitely something you could find at your local comic shop or on mycomicshop.com. Pick it up and check it out. If this is your type of thing, it... It does kind of have a, a death blow vibe, doesn't it? Jim Lee's death blow? We've, we've reviewed that here before. You can actually go and check that out. It's got a very strong death blow vibe to it. So, this has been a look at Rob Liefeld's Extreme Sacrifice from Image Comics Extreme Studios here on Crypto Comics for Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month. Beginning tomorrow, we are going to review some of the more obscure Extreme Studios titles you may have never heard of. You might not know they exist. Uh, they're, not, they're not hard to find by any means if you know to look for them. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of look at some of these lesser-known characters like Maximage and Nightmare and the Berserkers and Bloodpool and a lot more before Rob Liefeld Appreciation Month concludes at the end of October. Now, if you've been enjoying yourself here on Crypto Comics, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that ding dong for notifications. And if you would, please, pretty please, I, I, I beg of you, I humbly compel you to go to megawattcomic.com. That's megawattcomic.com. And check out my Kickstarter for a comic book I wrote featuring art by my good friend Josh Spencer in Sydney, Australia. It's called Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun. Those of you who have been around Crypto Comics for a while know what I'm talking about already. Any of you newcomers, though, you might want to check it out. It's a colorful, exciting adventure featuring a very modern 21st century plot involving undocumented immigrants being smuggled into the United States by a coven of bloodthirsty vampires. And only a young luchador named Megawatt and his two loyal friends can stop these vampires when they began abducting beautiful young women from their Hispanic community. Check it out at megawattcomic.com. It's live on Kickstarter right now. It's Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun. Please support the book and help us reach our funding goal by Halloween. And as always, thank you, all you beautiful people in Webtown, for hanging out with me on another day for a few minutes for a look back at awesome 90s comics, courtesy of Rob Liefeld, here on Crypto Comics. I'll see you tomorrow.